Hi, I'm here with a patient here. It's a couple months out from a tummy tuck and lipo. She, she's very happy. She's got a really nice result. She's got a nice shape to her body. She's got something that I think is just so nice, just natural kind of central line here where she's kind of scooped in a little bit. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about. She really came in with a concern and other patients have it too. So I just wanted to bring it up and I'm just going to have you just lower your underwear just a little bit so we can see your scar. Okay. So here's her tummy tuck scar. And one of her main concerns is that she has some hardness in this area. So it's going to be hard for you to see, but if I touch, this is all nice and soft. This is all soft. And then when we get here, this is hard. This little area here is hard and it kind of extends throughout a lot of her incision in this lower uh, third. And then as we go out, there's no more of that hardness. And so, she was really kind of wondering if something's wrong or something's bad and what's happened here is she has some fat necrosis here now I think when we th when we think of fat necrosis um, we typically think of something with a BBL where we inject the fat and then the fat doesn't survive and you have have some death of the fat but it doesn't always happen just from injecting fat and it can happen with the tummy tuck it can happen with breast reconstruction. It can happen with any time we're changing the blood supply of a part of the body, you can have fat necrosis. So what does that mean? So when we do a tummy tuck, you know, the incision is here. All of the skin in fat is elevated from the abdominal wall. The normal blood supply to the abdominal wall comes down here and here and sends up little, almost like sprinkler heads, you know, that come up here and then the blood supply comes in from the sides. So when we do a tummy tuck and we make an incision, we lift everything up, it disrupts this main blood supply that's coming down here, and then we're more reliant on the blood supply coming in from the outside, from the back, and also from down low um, is typical blood supply as well, but that gets cut when we do the tummy tuck. So this area, particularly this area, is furthest away from this new blood supply coming in to supply oxygen to the skin and fat. And if that supply is not perfect, then you can get some of this fat in here that is not happy because it's not getting the amount of oxygen it normally deserves or wants or needs. And so you'll get some of that fat will die and it becomes firm. It looks great. And I was even kind of joking with her at the beginning, like a typical plastic surgeon. I looked at her, I'm like, oh, it looks great. You know, she's, oh, no, it looks good. I'm very happy. But what is this hardness? And so that's what that is. Typically, we don't do anything with it. It goes away on its own. Sometimes it takes several years for that to dissipate and soften. Sometimes patients are left with some harder areas. They typically don't you know, are not bothered by it. And so they don't come back to the office like five years later because they kind of become accustomed to it. It softens a little bit and then it's not really, doesn't really become an issue. But that's just something I wanted to point, it, point out because I talk about fat necrosis with the BBL, but it can happen with anything. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is she was asking me about some of, you know, there's some thickening of her scar. So this is something totally different. So this area here where we really feel the fullness and, and the hardness is not just in the scar, but it actually extends above. This area here, this is all soft. There's no fat necrosis. We're actually right on her hip bone here because she just doesn't have any fat left from the lipo. But this scar itself is thick and this, can, this is normal for how things heal. So what we want to do is we want to make sure she's on a good scar massage program, which is a cream with silicone, and then you perform circular motion in terms of rubbing this. It's not something where you just put the cream on and walk away. You want to massage it. So you can tell probably that I'm giving some fairly firm massaging here. I don't have any cream, so it doesn't, it doesn't work well, but you need that lubricant. And then you also go in the line and so the whole scar and that'll help she's only a couple months out so that scar is still very red it takes about one year for the redness to come out of the scar you can see how she's red here do you see that one yeah. so that redness will go away that's just normal it's inflammation 
because she's healing and your body heals through inflammation.